11 and there's a one of a kind art show on display to, featuring artwork from some of the city's educators but not the art teachers. All the art was actually created by administrative staff in their spare time. As Nine on Your Side's Palo Suro shows us, the show may have kids asking the principal, did my principal make that? You've heard of Lebanon's extensive history of their incredible buildings and architecture, but did you know their schools also have creative staff? This is an old wooden hanger. You can probably tell it's trail. not Todd Yoey's first uh, rodeo. There's a wrench here and some little toys and blocks. He's created artwork like this four or five times, but never had it displayed in an art show of this kind. It's neat to see a side of people that we don't normally see. That's because as superintendent of Lebanon City Schools, it's normally the students art on the walls. This time it's the staff. This person on the board knew a media aide who was a painter. And we knew that Todd Yohi is a sculptor. So we were like, okay, wait a second. Our school system is incredibly creative. Rochelle Collins, CEO and president of the Arts Council of Lebanon, wanted to highlight them through this one-of-a-kind art show running through mid-February. This is a fantastic community with a strong art population that hasn't really had a spotlight shown on it. When we see each other, we talk a lot of business and a lot of school, uh, but now it's kind of neat to be able to talk uh, completely different subjects and talk about art and creativity. From glasswork, to quilts. Here, they're all teaching the universal language of art. This is a whole new way to view or think about our public schools and the people who work there. How the 9 on your side.